today is the big day. The first day of the start of the rest of our lives. I don't know why I'm so nervous, but I am. I'm it's excited nervous. It's a good nervous, but it's nervous nonetheless. <laughs> Y'all, the time has finally come. We are on our way for the closing for our new home. Right here and now. And we're gonna bring you guys along with us. We're buying the farm. We did it! We did it! We did. Can you believe it? Yeah. It's final. It's real. It's got the keys in our hand. Oh, I can just eat them! She's, she's holding the keys because my hand is so tired from signing. <laughs> Guys, where are we going? We're going to our new house. <gasps> what are we going to do? Uh, eat food. Eat food. We're going to just go over there and hang out and have a bite to eat and then come back home. Hey Rowan, what did you say this tree was? It was our climbing tree. That looks like a good one. You're gonna have fun climbing in that dogwood. You're gonna climb all the way up there? I'm trying. I don't wanna fall off. Well, then don't fall off. All right, we had a nice little picnic in our backyard. And now Ryan and I are gonna go for a walk in our woods. What's your assembly? A kennel. Yay! Are you gonna live in there? Odin's gonna live in there. Uh oh, Odin. What do you think? <laughs> he says, I'm not so sure about that, Mama. I'm not so sure about that, Mama. Don't worry, you can stay with me. Gonna get those birds in. Yep. Hey, babies, are you ready? You guys ready? I think they're ready. You guys ready in there? I'm going in. Stay, girls, boys, whatever you are. Both girl in. Should I go slow or like? That's you know your goat. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I ain't no fun. Don't be afraid of that goat. It's not that I'm afraid of him. I just hate the stress. Yep, yep. Yep. Like not pulling. I'm not moving. What do you girls think? So much yum yum. Go enjoy and explore. Good goats. Yum yum. New pasture. Hey guys. How you doing? How do you like your little temporary enclosure? Over here in the shade of the walnut, just chilling out. I'll get you some water in just a second. I just got you off the truck, now I'll get you some water, okay? Okay. Okay, mommy. What do you say, Ryan? All right, release the quacking. That's for you, Morgan. Autumn. 
please stay back. I'm trying to do something. All right, ready for these guys. There we go. Go in. There you go. Good, babies. Go on. Go on. Perfect. Good job, Ryan. Autumn's inspecting. She wants to make sure you did it right. She said, Daddy, I'll help you. <laughs> so one of the things I would definitely have to say about moving a farm or a homestead, buying a house and moving your animals is one of the awkward things is setting up temporary shelter until you're able to build something more permanent in the future. So what do we got to do to make some temporary shelter for these goats, Daddy? Well, we do have this event tent that we can set up until we can get our hard, heavy duty shelter over here. All right then, that's what we're gonna have to do. We're gonna go ahead and put this together as a gift from our dear friend, Deb. And we are going to get animal shelter in place that's temporary because goodness knows that if we have a bad windstorm or a hurricane or a tropical storm come through, we're gonna be in trouble. I'm scared, I heard that sound. So yeah, these little chickens got kicked out of their tractor. So we thought we would just just see. I guess to test out if we're able yeah. to free range though. We're gonna huh? find out if we can free range. So far so good. Hi girls. What are you doing? Did you make a nest? We still haven't been able to tell which ones are hens and which ones are roos, but we know one of them for sure is crowing. So we'll find out gradually. Back at our old homestead, we were not able to free range our chickens because we had such heavy hawk predation. Anytime we let chickens out, the hawks would eat them all. So these guys, I guess, get to be an experiment for us to see if we're ever gonna be able to free range our birds again. If this property has that ability or not, is still to tell. But we've already seen a hawk circling over the chicken tractors, so a little nervous. Got this tent getting together swiftly. We're gonna reinforce a few of the connections with some gaffing tape, just to make sure, because goats are probably gonna push against the walls anyway, and we want to give it some extra security. Yep, just put it in that hole. Excellent. Y'all, we did it. Cool. What do you think the goats will think? Great shelter, huh? Yeah, this is a real shelter. For temporary. Just till we get the other one over here, huh? The white side, this is the dark side. I think they like it. Good little shelter for temporary use. temporary shelter. This is also dual purpose for the dogs if we have inclement weather or if they need extra protection because they try to figure out how to get loose. But for now he gets a little bit of free time. We moved the dogs out today. The dogs are out in the shaded half the pasture with the goats. They are able to get to each other just nose to nose so that they can still hang out and sleep together, but not enough that they can tangle each other and they've got a shared water in the middle. 
They're pretty happy though. So for now, the pasture has goat fence running along this side and a board fence it's attached to. And then it's a goat fence along the front. And from that corner to there, it's all goat fence. And then we have our electric net fence running across this way. So the goats have all this pasture to use for now, and then the fence continues on and about there, it changes over into a barbed wire fence. So not adequate for goats, but still a good perimeter fence for sure. And it goes all the way back to about where this pine tree is, I think is about the corner. And then it goes straight behind all those trees and along the tree edge along the other side of the property. So ideally, all this will get used in the future. We just have to do a little bit more fencing, um, probably use some of the electric net fence for a while still. And as things become more affordable, we'll get more fencing done a little bit at a time. And you just never know what you might find out here once that's done. Y'all, I can't even tell you how nice it is to have chores this easy. I walk out my back screen porch and I take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six. 28 steps and I'm at my barn door where I have the feed and hay stored I just on the other side of the barn is our temporary shelter for the buck Titus broke its collar so he's in here now and just on the closer side of where this door is for the feed my goats, right there, right there, with their temporary shelter. We will be setting up something more permanent, um, more sturdy, more durable for storms. Hopefully this weekend's storm doesn't do anything to this. We're gonna tie it down in a few other spots to help it from getting blown away. Khaleesi is loving it out here with the goats. The goats aren't so sure what to think of her. And the birds are doing great over here. Nice and close by, easy chores. So back on my screen porch, barn's right there. And then the quail are in the she shed for now. We gotta build them a roof before we can put them outside and then they will be outside as well. really good. I'm surprised he's not like trying to put his paws on you because that's what he likes to do with me. He knows that you guys are small and he has to be careful with you, huh? Yeah. What a good dog. He guards our family. We got him tied out over here on this side in efforts to keep the goats from jumping this small fence. This is a much smaller fence over here. This is a backup fence in case they get out from the paddock that we have set up for them. If they get out and go in here, we don't want them coming into the yard from this section. So Titus and this small fence is our deterrent to keep them in the pasture if they do get out. The pasture goes all the way back and it has fence all the way that side. So 
the fencing changes here to a fence that I don't trust them with, but it'll be a good enough deterrent like this side. Oh, he put his foot on you. His paw, yeah. He don't mean no harm. He just wants to pet you. That's how dogs show ownership. He wants to own you. He says, you're my child. I will protect you. Have I mentioned how much more I love doing chores at this house? It's so much easier. Everything is so much more streamlined and everything is so much closer together. It's like, boom, 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 I'm done. Boom, boom, boom. Don't you find that chores are easier here? Yeah. I like it. Mm -hmm. You boys like doing chores with mama? Yep. We earn popsicles. What? Earn popsicles. That's why you like it, huh? Please, mommy. Please. Please. <laughs> you know when you've arrived home, when Miss Elsie from next door brings you pie. I've never had anybody do that for me. I'm touched. I'm hungry for dessert. <laughs> Can I eat it all? <laughs>